Uh, hi, good afternoon. My name is Maher Lewis, and today I'm going to be demonstrating um, how to insert a, a bunch of points uh, based off of an alignment offset. So, um, uh, first we'll begin with Civil 3D 2011. Uh, here I have a blank drawing. This is the standard OEM out of the box extended uh, template for Civil 3D. Um, and you can tell that just from all these little features and the styles, they're all set. Uh, these are just regular OEM features that are part of Civil 3D. Okay, and um, so you start up Civil 3D, and uh, currently I don't have an alignment, so I'm going to bring one in. I'm going to use the import land XML, and on my desktop I have a land XML file. All right, so there's my alignment. As you can see, it's all said and done. I'm going to go to 20 scale just, just to reduce the size of the text. And so that's first. The alignment is in. The second thing is is the, uh, the information. Now, here I have a list of signal houses. And the signal houses has a number, uh, a name of the street, uh, a mile post, some Anyways, it, it has a lot of information, and the most important information that I can use is are, are these two, these these three columns here: uh, station, uh, left offset, right offset, and the and the amount. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. All right, copy, and I'm going to paste it into a. Uh, into a Word document, okay? Now, notice how there are there there is a, a lot of tabs here. You see all this tab? Those tabs mean that this is a positive side and this is a negative side. And you have these plus plus symbols. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace all the plus symbols with nothing. Alright, so I'll replace all. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna copy paste uh, this and replace it with a negative. Place. Oops, cancel. Copy, edit, place, paste with a negative. Actually, a space negative. A negative. Or a space negative. That's all. And uh, notice how it did negative, negative here. What I'm going to do is going to copy, replace, negative, negative, with just a space, replace all. That's it. So now I have everything lined up. So if it's a negative, it's on the left. If it's positive, it's on the right. And so on and so forth. And this, this is nothing. You don't have to worry about that. Okay? But that, that basically is the file that I need to be able to to, to bring in the station offsets. I'm, I'm just cleaning it up a little bit, deleting some extraneous lines, not a big deal. Okay, so here I'm gonna go and save as, put on my desktop, call it blah, blah, blah. A text file is preferred, okay? So here's my station, here's my offsets. That's just from this Excel spreadsheet. All right, I'll close this. And then in, Civil 3D. Once you have the alignment, you can bring in those uh, the the station offsets. Here you have a pull down menu. Uh, it says points, alignments, import from file. You bring that in. It asks you in the dialog box down here below. Uh, is it a station offset? A station offset elevation? A station offset rod reading? Comma HI description, you know, all that kind of stuff. For us, we're just going to do the station offset. There were some descriptions, but I didn't bring that column in. Um, you know, I did have descriptions, but that's okay. But we didn't, we don't need to put in descriptions, okay? So I'm going to say one. Uh, oops, sorry. Now it asks, do you want, uh, is the file delimited by one, a space, or two, a comma? Here, in our case, we have a one. And then invalid would be that little dash line. 
So now it's asking for to select the alignment. So I'm going to select the alignment. Bam. There. Okay, so there. Well, now we have all the points, and you can see them here. Let's go zoom to. So that, that point there is based on a station alignment. And uh, we can go to all points, and we can have a uh, northern easting on that point. So northern easting. Okay. Now, let's say that you wanted to put a block on that point. Instead of having an X, let's say you wanted to have a building. All right. So I have an 8x8 signal house. Okay. So I want to have that signal house as that point block. So simply go to the point point styles, create a new point style. All right. And then you see it right there, signal house. You want it to have the uh, the uh, fixed scale of 111. All right. It's going to be on layer 0. Call it signal house, sig house. Okay, so there he is, sig house. Prospector properties, and it's going to be sig house. There you go. So now you have a point block, and one note you need to uh, be aware of is that the block insertion point is at the center of the house so if you don't want that if you want it to be let's say on the left or on the right hand side then you can you can do it simply by editing the block so let's just enter the block all right so that's the block and we're going to edit simply by moving it at zero, zero, zero. Save, close, changes. Okay. So now, at that point, which is the, the edge of the building, is the closest point to the alignment, is the point of insertion for this block. And notice how the text is over the block, but in any case, you can, you can re revise that any which way you want. And that pretty much concludes this demonstration of bringing in uh, some points, uh, that is a station offset of your alignment. So thank you for thank you for watching.